Republicans accused President Trump of personally asking Chinese President Xi Jinping to use his economic power to help him win the 2020 presidential election by purchasing more soybeans and wheat. Bolton makes the claim in his forthcoming memoir. The Justice Department sued Bolton in an attempt to block publication of the book, but copies have already been obtained by journalists. Bolton's book comes just months after he declined to testify during President Trump's impeachment trial. In the book, he faults Democrats for focusing on Trump's dealings with Ukraine, saying Trump was willing to halt criminal investigations for, quote, dictators he liked, citing China and Turkey as two examples. Bolton also writes, Trump privately called for the execution of journalists who do not reveal their sources, reportedly saying, quote, these people should be executed, they're scumbags, unquote. Bolton also criticizes Trump for not being hawkish enough on foreign policy. He claims Trump's decision not to attack Iran in 2019 following the downing of a U.S. drone was, quote, the most irrational thing I ever witnessed any president do, unquote. John Bolton, who strongly advocated for the U.S. to overthrow the Venezuelan government, claims in the book that Trump said invading Venezuela would be, quote, cool, and that it was, quote, really part of the United States, unquote. Bolton also claims Trump told Xi Jinping during a private meeting at last year's G20 in Japan that he supported China's rationale for building massive concentration camps to hold Uyghur Muslims. Bolton writes, quote, according to our interpreter, Trump said that Xi should go ahead with building Building the camps, which Trump thought was exactly the right thing to do, unquote. The report made headlines Wednesday on the same day President Trump signed the Uyghur Human Rights Policy Act that imposes sanctions on Chinese officials involved in the detention program. House Democrats have long